Hello everyone, this is Amit. Welcome to another Notepad++ tip. In this video, we will learn top 5 tips uh, for web development in Notepad++. These tips and tricks will help you uh, save a lot of time and will also help you make faster and more efficient web de uh, developer. So these 5 tips that we will look into uh, are uh, automatically closing HTML tags, uh, previewing HTML write in Notepad++, uh, viewing uh, your web code into different browsers uh, using a color picker uh, extension and then also some snippets. So let's get started. So the first tip is about closing the HTML tag. Now let me open Notepad++. Now this is one of the most basic tip but often many people are not aware of it. Uh, I mean, HTML tags are the bread and butter of any web development, right? We all are used to writing these tags, but these tags uh, are kind of hard to write, especially the closing tags. And often, you know, you make a typo and, and so on. So it would be nice if you can automatically close these closing tags. Uh, and Notepad++ do allow you to do that. You don't need to install any new extension. It is already a built-in feature. And so let me open this uh, a simple HTML file. Uh, now, in order to enable these settings, uh, you need to go to settings, go to preferences, and then probably you are a general, go to auto completion. And if you look at right here, auto insert, there is a checkbox, which it says HTML, XML, close tag. So if you don't have it checked, make sure that you check this and just close. And that's all actually. So go to, once more, I'm going to repeat that. Go to settings, go to preferences, go to auto completion, and check this box, which says HTML, XML, close tag. All right, so let's try now. So I'm going to create a just a header tag. And you see it automatically completed uh, the closing tag. Let me create a body tag. And you can see it is able to automatically create uh, the closing tags which definitely would save a lot of time for you let me try some more so if i want to add a bold or let's say i would like to have an order list right and then i want to have some list items and so you can see that just by simply adding that checkbox you are able to complete a uh, number of uh, tags in HTML that definitely will save a lot of time again as I said this is not any extension it is a built-in feature so hopefully uh, you will be able to save a lot of time all right so that is the very first tip auto closing HTML tags now let's go to the next one uh, which is a preview HTML now so many times as you're working on on a particular HTML web page you know you make some small incremental change and you would like to preview that now usually uh, people open the change in the web browser refresh the browser and then see those changes but it would be nice if you can do all those right from notepad plus plus and so this preview html uh, feature does allow you to do that and so in order to use that feature we need to install an extension and so let's go to plugins go to plugins admin and just search for preview HTML okay. and it should show up right away which is right here which is preview HTML and as the description says it actually helps you to see see the file right inside notepad plus plus without you have to leave them or even save okay so I'm going to select this and in order to install a uh, plugin is very easy just click install and Notepad++ will open, uh, reopen or restart. So click install and yes. All right, so now that you have installed preview HTML plugin, go to plugins and you can see it right here, preview HTML. Now there is a keyboard shortcut, but it also adds an icon right here, uh, which is actually previewing HTML. So I'm going to click on that. And for me, it actually automatically just attach it to the right hand sidebar but you might see where this separate window shows up. And so all you have to do is just take this and then attach it 
uh, to the right hand side so you just take that and then just drag it till you see sort of a, a rectangle show up here and then just leave it right and so now I have attached this preview HTML preview on the right hand side you can click refresh and now I can see uh, the HTML preview right in Notepad++. I don't need to open that in the web browser. Now let's see if I make some changes. So I'm going to just add, let's say I'll add some list items. A new list item. Now, if you notice, I haven't even saved the HTML file and it's still able to preview that right here. You can see it. And so I'm going to save it. But as you can see that the changes that we make to HTML are shown right here, uh, a preview right here. And so that definitely will save a lot of your time uh, as you don't need to just go back and forth in the web browser. Now, just a one caution with this particular uh, extension. There are times where I have noticed that not everything renders perfectly like a web browser. And so definitely there will be a time where you would like to test out your changes into web browser but this is quite useful if you just have a minor changes and you just don't want to you know just keep back and forth between web browser and this uh, and as i said you don't even need to save the html file to see those changes and so you can add more, more stuff to it and then it'll show up right away and so that is the second <clears throat> tip tip uh, in which we just learned how you can preview html file uh, right from notepad plus plus now the third one actually goes along with what we just did in the second one uh, so there are times where you do want to see your changes in, in different web browser now if you imagine there are many times you you look at some kind of a, you come across some web page and it just doesn't look right in your web browser and probably the reason is that there was not enough testing done for that particular web browser so you don't want to do that as a developer, you don't want to leave it too late uh, and publish your, your, your web page and find out about some inconsistency between the browsers or at least uh, something doesn't show up properly. And so for that, it's, it's useful, you know, to just quickly just check how your web page look in a different web browser. And so for that, all you have to do is go to view and then view current file. And then you have four different options. Uh, you have Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, and then Internet Explorer. And so you can view your uh, web page in these different browsers and just to make sure that it looks right. And so if I click on that, you can see that it showed up in a, in a Mozilla Firefox. If I want to open in, a, let's say, a Microsoft Edge, I can do that as well. It actually opened on another screen, so and then uh, if you want to see this into let's say google chrome which is quite popular you can just open that in google chrome and you can see it right here and so this is pretty handy where, where you would like to test your web page in different browser now you do need to install these browsers and so if you don't have google chrome or firefox you know you may not be able to see those previews uh, so Windows do come with Microsoft Edge and Internet Explorer. So uh, Internet Explorer is, is a, an older web browser, but, but there are people who still, still use this. And so it might be worth just testing it out for that particular web browser as well. All right, so we looked into three different uh, tips. Uh, so let's go to the next one. Uh, the next one is a color picker. And so again, this is a, a sort of a common task when you're you know doing some kind of web development uh, you would like to just you know change the colors and you would like to know the different color hex code and so on and so you don't need to have a separate application for that all you have to do is install a plugin called color picker now you already know how to install a plugin so let's go to plugins plugins admin and then this time we will search for color picker yeah. So right here you can see there's a color picker. So I'm going to select that and going to click install. Okay, and it'll restart, which is okay. All right, so now that I have installed color picker, I can go to plugins and then I can see color picker right here. So let's go ahead and open that. 
and now I can keep this open and if let's say I would like to use a particular color I can make these changes and then see its previews and so on and then when I'm ready uh, you know I just can get any of these uh, different way of putting the the color code so HTML would be like a hex code so click OK and you can see that right here uh, it just gave me that color code right now technically you need to use these in a in a CSS and so on but but if you're changing the color of text or you know or, or a background color or, or something like that you know this comes handy where you can just pick a color right from notepad plus plus so again you just have to go to plugin color picker this one and then make your changes as you would like and then once you're done uh, you just pick on any of these but uh, let's just pick uh, something different this time c plus plus so and then it gives uh, some kind of a code but actually i think i should have picked the html only so yeah pick this and then there you go this is the the code html hex code for that particular color so we can easily just pick a color right from notepad plus plus all right so let's go to the next one which is a snippet so again this is also an another uh, extension now snippets basically is is a is a set of code that you are using frequently and it can help you just type or those uh, those commonly used codes with just a click of a button and so you don't need to type all those things and so let's go ahead and install snippets plugin and then we'll talk a little bit about it so go to again go to plugins go to plugin admin and this time just search for snippets okay and it shows up right here uh, it's, it's actually called snippets itself so select and click install and we'll have notepad plus plus restarted all right so now if you notice i actually created this sidebar uh, for snippets now you might wonder where did the the preview html went so there is a tab here if i open these tab i can see the preview if i open this second tab I can see the, all the HTML, sorry, snippets. Now, these snippets are not only for HTML, it's also for different uh, other different languages. But we'll just look into HTML right now and maybe CSS also. So let's double click on HTML. And if you notice what it did, it actually created a sort of uh, a skeleton or a template for an HTML file automatically. You don't need to type any of these. It just automatically create this for you. So snippets are useful for doing that exactly uh, you can easily just uh, you know use this this large code by just a click of a button so let's click here and then go to html tags i just click on this drop down and if you notice here these are the most commonly used html tags uh, so now that that you have these you can easily just add let's say i would like to add for example uh, an anchor tags so i double click on this and you can see it just created the snippet and all you need to do is just type text and so on uh, let's try for example a form so if i double click on a form oops uh, it also already creates uh, like a, a set of form uh, that you can add you know the name and the action and so on and same with with, with uh, some of the other one like headings and so on so if i go here now this is easier to type actually but but uh, snippets can be useful just to you know just copy set of code into your html uh, web page uh, let's try a table this time so there's a table so i'm going to double click on table and you can see that it created a, quite a bit of a good template for you to just you know replicate so one piece of advice is if you're learning html especially right at the beginning i would uh, you know not use snippets so much uh, earlier on because it's good to you know just type things up and learn uh, these different tags and so on and on, on all the properties and so on and just build uh, this muscle memory and then once you're comfortable then you can use these snippets because that will definitely save you time but the reason why I'm not recommending recommending you to start right away is if you want to know what you're doing then it, it would not be useful in future and so uh, learn it and then use it uh, that's what I would say. <clears throat> so while we saw the HTML tags, uh, you can also add a CSS tag. So if I go to CSS tags, now I can see if I have a CSS in the header 
or if I have a separate CSS file, uh, we can you can use all these different properties and set the values for it and so on. And so it is a very useful plugin uh, to just quickly you know just type things up uh, in your uh, HTML file. Okay. So now that you have learned all these five different tricks, uh, you know we looked into different closing closing HTML tags, previewing HTML, you know viewing in the browser color picker snippets now is actually a time to apply that in and put that put them into practice and so i'm going to link an html uh, tutorial uh, a detailed html tutorial right here and uh, so make sure that you check that video out and that goes into quite a bit of detail of all the stuff with html and while you are here also make sure that you check uh, the html playlist that i have created uh, that does cover many different aspects of HTML, especially in Notepad++. And so make sure that you do check those out. And if you want me to create a particular video about anything on in HTML side or Notepad++ side, please comment that in a comment section. And I will definitely respond to your comment. And I will hopefully create uh, new videos in future also. So thank you for watching this whole video. And uh, if you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please do subscribe to my channel. I post new videos almost every week uh, about Notepad++, you know, HTML and many other uh, topics uh, and development. And so make sure that you subscribe to my channel. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.